Okay, so this is how I do the urban mushing. I use a mountain bike because I find them best. I really like them a lot. I like them a lot better than cruisers because cruisers are too big and bulky. And then road bikes are just too lightweight. And mountain bikes are really good because they usually have a, a gap here that can allow you to attach something. I just use my dog's old collar. And then it, the line can go through here. You never want to attach the line to the handlebars because if your dog decides to turn away, it can make you lose control and turn and crash. And the second thing, you always want to wear a helmet because you will crash eventually doing this. And then I got my line from Nordican Outfitters. I really like their line because it has this great shock absorption right here. And it's really easy for the dog to pull it. And you always want to have a shock absorption because it takes away the bumpiness of the ride and it's a lot better for the dog and you and you and the dog don't feel the jerkiness. And then a second thing is I made this thing out of PVC pipe which is a line protector or I think you could buy one if you don't want to make one you can buy one from Alpine Outfitters which is called the Scooter Noodle. And I just made it because it's a lot cheaper than buying it. And then this just goes over the line and can protect it from get instead of so it doesn't get in the tires and make you crash. No. I only have a single dog line because I only have one dog, but Nordican does sell two and up to like 12 or something like that. And then I have an X back harness from them, as you can see. And then I also have an urban trail harness from Alpine Outfitters with her name on it. And the X back harness is a lot better for the urban mushing because it allows the dogs to be more efficient and pull a lot better than with the urban trail harness. And then the one thing that I like about Nordican Outfitters line is that if you want it, if you only have one dog and you decide to get another dog, you could take this line out right here and then attach a double dog, a two dog um, tug line, which is great. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to attach the scooter noodle or line protector to the line. First you're going to want to take off the clip. And then you just run the line through. Sometimes it can be difficult to get the line through because of the big bungee. You just run it through. It goes through. Okay, once you get the line through, you just pull it out here, then you just attach the clip. I attach it to the thing that I drilled through the scooter noodle thing, and then I attach it to the line. And then you pull the line through so it's tight, and there you go. And then, once you have that, then you're going to want to attach the line to the bike, but you're going to want what you're going to want to do is you don't want this to go through the, over the brake lines or through the brake lines. You're going to want it to attach straight through them and not interfere with them in any way. You just attach it there, and then your dog's able to pull. Now I'm going to teach you how to put x back harness on because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult because there's so many holes in it. The way that I do it is on the Nordican ones there's always a thing here and I always bring that thing, the other extra padding on the back up to the neck and then come up. Then I get in front of her because she doesn't like it when I go on top of her is I just bring her head through and then make sure everything is Good. Then you bring one paw through, and then the other paw, and then you get them to stand up, and then I usually hold her butt and pull it so it's nice and straight, and there you go. And now I'll show you how to put the urban trail harness on. And then the way that I take off the X back is I usually just bunch it up here and bring her back. Then pull one leg through. Like 
Tengo un día que lo hay. Just pull it over their head if she lets you. Okay, then to put on the urban trail harness is there's this part goes on top and you put that right in their shoulder blades then you grab one of their foot goes through here and clip and then the one under their belly and you clip it and then because this one's adjustable you always want to make sure that it's tight enough but not too tight then you always make sure under their belly that it's good that everything is straight and then that's that one and then when you take it off you just unclip it unclip it and then you can just let them walk out of it okay so i think i covered everything if you have any questions just ask me in the comment section and oh the commands that i use with her is g for right and then haw for left because it doesn't sound like anything and then on by for any distractions that means keep going forward don't get distracted keep running and then whoa is stop and then easy is slow down and hike is go that's her favorite word is hike and go hike she loves to hike and then in the descriptions, I'll leave all the other places that you could buy. The x pack harnesses, the lines, and everything like that in the description. So, thank you for watching.